On this channel, we have presented many natural disasters that have had immeasurable consequences for humans and the planet. However, would you believe that man himself is also responsible for disasters that have had global impact? But this is indeed the case. In this video, we take a look at six of the most horrific disasters that are man's fault. Welcome to the Top Topics channel. Subscribe right now and let's watch new video. Who would have thought back then that when winter came and people started burning more coal than usual, smoke would be trapped in the city streets? No one suspected, at first, due to the fact that they were simply used to the fog in London. But from December 1952 to March 1953, the smoke killed thousands of people. It was so thick that it was often impossible to see the streets at all. It even entered buildings and concerts and theaters had to be cancelled because you couldn't see the stage. It also resulted to rethinking of the approach to the environment. Not even 30 years have passed since the worst nuclear accident of all time. To this day, the area around the plants still contaminated with the radiation and it will be a long time before it's habitable again. After one of the reactors exploded, a dangerous radioactive cloud was released into the air. It quickly spread across Eastern Europe and Scandinavia through though the Northern Hemisphere. Heavy contamination affected areas of Ukraine, Belarus and Russia. More than 350,000 people had to be relocated because of it. In some areas, decontamination and treatment of the sick is still ongoing. It's still not clear how much damage the accident actually caused. On the night of 2nd to 3rd December 1984, in Bhopal, India, took place a disaster in the true sense of the word. An American chemical plant released approximately 27 tons of methyl isocyanate, hydrogen cyanide and other hazardous substances into the surroundings area. Within three days, 8,000 people had died and 25,000 more in the following years. The total number of those affected exceeded half a million. The Salty Lake, formerly known as the Aral Sea, can now only dream of its old nickname. It all started with a giant project by the Soviet Union in which they managed to divert the rivers flowing into Lake Aral so that they could subsequently irrigate waste amounts of barren land. The Amodaria and Serdaria rivers dried up so much that they didn't reach the lake at all. This resulted in the rapid drying up of the lake in the 1980s. The lake gradually split into two smaller ones, one half soon disappeared and only a fraction of the original water surface remains today. Once a wealthy coastal city that benefited from its abundant fishing and tourism, now found themselves in the middle of a newly emerging desert. Scientists began to talk about one of the greatest ecological disasters in human history. It's still uncertain how big impact the accident had on human health and the environment around the plant. But what's certain is that only a few years before Chernobyl, the same horror could have been experienced in the USA. 
But a government official said that a breakdown in an atomic power plant in Pennsylvania today is probably the worst nuclear reactor accident to date. In 1979, an accident occurred at a nuclear plant in Pennsylvania, resulting in a partial meltdown of one of the reactors. Radioactive steam was released into the air and several people suffered health problems. However, according to the official report, no one died. One of the worst disasters in the United States. In the 1890s, William T. Love attempted to build a canal and a town next to it where everyone would live in a perfect community dependent only on hydroelectric power. It didn't work out, so the site started to be used as a chemical waste dump. In the 1950s, the chemical company filled in everything with soil and sold the waste site to the city. Within a short while, a city grew up there, and the unfortunate people who lived there in the naive belief that the chemical waste was safe deep underground were out of luck. In the 1970s, it was confirmed that the entire area was heavily contaminated and many of the children born there had birth defects and many people are still dealing with the tragic aftermath of premature death from cancer and other diseases. We can't fit any more into today's video. As you can see, even men has a huge destructive potential. But when I think about it, we are also products of nature. So can't man-made disasters also be considered natural disasters? Hmm, fine thought. Friends, thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like and see you at the next video.